Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amy's story here in Amy's Pet Clinic. So I have been meaning to return to Amy's adventures for quite some time because so many of you guys loved her story so much. I did too because we got to help her really develop her own confidence as a young vet in the big city who is now a young vet who has taken over her grandfather's clinic outside of the big city in the comfortable home that she grew up in. And we had a great time with that. I really, really, really love game house games. They are some of my favorite. And when I was glancing over the store looking for more app ventures for our app venture series, I saw that there's actually a third Dr. Cares game that has just come out that has to do with ponies and dolphins. And if we want to find out what goes on in that version, we definitely need to spend some time here with the second out of three now of Amy stories. So I hope you guys will sit back, enjoy, and join me as we see what Amy's story has to go, like where she's going this time. So Amy, I see Newton is still here. We still have our little parrot with us. There's a cat clock on the wall. It doesn't look like we have too many things that we're gonna need to worry about focusing on just yet. There's a picture of our now retired grandfather. And let's see what we're gonna do today. Ugh. Why in the world does owning a pet clinic mean being buried under a mountain of paperwork? At work, at work! Oh, Newton. <laughs> you want to take over for me, Newton? <laughs> Newton just wants to party. He's so cute. Alright, he's out of here. I'll take that as a no. There you go, Amy. <gasps> Yay! Wonderful! I am so glad that our good friend is still here. Good morning, Lisa! Don't call me that, Lisa. We're a team, remember? You better be nice to Lisa this time, Amy. I had some serious problems with what you were up to last time. Also, is that- that better be a fake goldfish. You know better than to have a goldfish in a tiny bowl like that, lady. Plus, boss makes me sound really old. Yay! Lisa's back! I'm just proud of you for taking over the clinic from Arthur. You're a businesswoman now. It sounds pretty cool when you put it like that. But it's mostly just trying not to drown under the paperwork. You do look a little tired. Anything I can do to help? I'm good. It's just I uh, it's just something I need to get used to doing. She does look really tired actually. Her eyes are kind of red. Anyway, let's get to work. Huh. You should hire a secretary, Amy. Uh, no, I don't need to know how to run the clinic. We're also on expert mode, just so you guys know. It's okay. I think what, you know what we're doing by now. Of course we do! I know how to handle this. Alright, so Lisa's ready to go as well. Holy cow, that is a huge stack of paperwork. Get to work, Amy. We don't have all day. Come on, you run this clinic now. Oh, pfft, this will be easy to handle. I'm not worried. Oh, hey, this man wants to get a ball of yarn. Or, actually, I think that's like a dog chew toy. Totally cool. <gasps> There's a kitty! Oh my gosh, we have a kitty to take care of! Oh, this is so cool! Oh wait, no, this looks really serious. Wait a second! <gasps> Does this kitty need like some sort of- It needs an EKG heart test? What? Be still my heart, hello? There's a guinea pig?! Oh my gosh, this just like has dashed up to one of my favorite things ever. Lisa, a little help over here. <gasps> Did you hear the squeaking of the happy little guinea pig? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm happy now. Holy cow. Lisa, if you could help us. All right. And this woman needs a set of tweezers for some reason. There you go, ma'am. And if you can hang on just a moment, ma'am. I think that this woman's going to want something. Boom, boom, boom. Yay. All right. And we found the mouse today. Pwah. Expert level. I can't believe there was a guinea pig, guys. Look, there's another kitty. Oh my goodness. I think you guys are really gonna love that. Oh, but it needs a little heart checkup. Oh my heart. There you go, little guy. Another EKG monitor for you. Why? I really hope he'll be okay. All right, we're already- Oh, there's a pony! What? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, and let's tidy up. Let's make sure everything is nice and clean. We want to have a nice, clean clinic before the end of the day. Lisa, if you could. I mean, I could even restock something. Ha. Huh. Look at that. We've got this. We've got... Woo! All right. We completed our first day. Ding dong. All right. So Newton's having a good time. <gasps> Look! It's... 
This is so fun. It's Emily and her daughter from the Emily's Delicious series, which I have actually been considering also playing as well as maybe some Kyrosoft games in the future if you guys are interested. I love the game house games. They're actually very relaxing. I love time management and challenges like that uh, when they're fun, you know, fun and pretty and playful like this. And check this out. Emily has brought us a wonderful pie that looks delicious. How's everything with your new clinic? It's going really well. It's a lot of work, but I'm learning a lot too. She's really grown up. I am so proud of her. I still remember my first restaurant. There was more paperwork to do than food to cook. <laughs> Speaking of cooking, I cooked up Arthur's favorite apple pie as a going away gift. Can you give it to him for me? Newton, back off, Newton. Of course, Emily. Grandpa should be coming by soon if... Oh, I'd love to stay, but unfortunately I have a big family dinner to prepare tonight. I have a feeling that's every night for Emily. Wish him luck on his first big trip, though, from all of us. And good luck to you too, Amy. If you ever need any help, say bye to Amy, Paige. Bye, Amy. Oh, bye, Paige. I hope your bunny's doing better. There we go. Cute little pie. Don't eat it, Newton. Oh, wait, there's... Oh, hey, it's Grandpa. I see you have a doorbell now. I'm impressed. Good job, Newton. You're now officially upgraded to Team Doorbell. I really like what you've done with the place. It feels brand new. <laughs> it needs more plants, Amy. I have big shoes to fill. I won't disappoint you. You're going to do great, sweetheart. Thanks, Grandpa. I hope so. I know so. Yay! All right, carry on! Out of my way! There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Since it's the first episode, like, all of the loading things are happening, like, hook this up to your Google account. And we've done that because there are many, many more adventures. Where are we? <gasps> That's a school! What? We get to go back to Amy's Elementary School. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, guys, here we are at Amy's Clinic. Let's take a moment just to take a little peek into the future and see where her adventures may take her. Now that Amy has decided to take over her grandfather's clinic, she clearly has has a spot that she's putting down roots, but what do those roots come with? How will her relationship be with the people in town? Will she be able to manage the clinic? That's going to be an entirely new thing to step up and have to grow up and do. She really struggled with making adult decisions and kind of giving up the partying college lifestyle last time, believe it or not, and shifting into prioritizing, picking one thing to really focus on, really sinking her, her roots into place and just focusing on building a life around her instead of trying to take part of all the different lives she could have. So I'm excited to see where Amy is going to go. Is that going to just involve paperwork or will there maybe be romance in her future? Who knows? It's important to think, uh, to think or maybe there's more guinea pigs. If she just wants to adopt tons of guinea pigs, I am totally behind this, especially if we're going to the elementary school, home of many a class guinea pig. So in her future, we can expect to see Amy's elementary school. <gasps> There's Snug Ford's shelter! We might see Jack again! He works there. Oh, I hope the shelter is doing well. Maybe we'll do another fundraiser for them. And then... <gasps> parrot camp! A parrot rescue camp! Yes! I am totally behind this. Tell me the next thing is capybara guinea pigs. Or even better, giraffes. Amy's lab? What is in this woman's future? This is exciting. Oh my gosh. And then... What? Back to the positive hospital. But we left that place. I thought possibly for good. No pun intended. That this is this is gonna be very interesting. I am quite intrigued at what we're going to be tackling in her future. Let's take just a little sneak peek at the trophies. Oh, the trophies are gonna be hanging out with all these people this time. I recognize a certain pink puppy's outline. You guys, and maybe we'll get a new kitten because her her kitten, you guys remember what happened last time? Oh, I actually cried. Like I cried really hard last time. So let's see if we can give Amy a even more exciting story, a new chapter of her life now. Hopefully not as tragic as what happened with that kitten and the horse racing events. Oh, look, and we have a little donation spot now. And Newton is being our doorbell. Newton, you scared me. Yeah, he does that now. He keeps pretending to be a doorbell for some reason. Maybe we should just get a real one? <laughs> I think Newton does a great job as a doorbell. Nope, I think we're stuck with Newton, the bell cockatoo. 
He is kind of adorable right now. Hey, Amy, what's up with the donation box? Well, I'm helping out at the Snuckford Animal Shelter on weekends. And they need all the funding they can get, so I thought... It'd be nice to collect some donations for the shelter. Great idea! Yay! Exactly. I hope our customers will help them out a bit. I'm sure they will. Pay the bill! <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> All right, wait, did Newton just fly out the front door? Oh, no, I hope that didn't happen. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to. Okay, that's great. I don't want to. Oh, okay, we have to get Newton a bigger perch, but that will make Newton happy and bigger tips. So let's go ahead and buy him a bigger perch, which is a good thing. So it looks like we can also upgrade the charity box to collect more funds to help the poor pets at the animal shelter. I am all about that life. We can also upgrade our monitor uh, exam table. Very important to make sure that we don't miss anything on those heart uh, ratings. There's an ultrasound tool shelf so that we can give ultrasounds to pets. Also sounds important to upgrade. We can organize, get a better organized toy box for sorting the toys. We can cleaning, we can clean the clinic better. Very important for sanitation. We can get bigger tips with a deluxe counter. I love the orchid. And we can get deluxe vet tables so that the patients will be more patient. Ha <laughs> ha, puns everywhere. Uh, but I think we're okay for now. So we need to try to gather donations. Um, look at the bunny! This is so exciting that there's a little bunny! Oh my gosh! Uh, let's go ahead and give it into a little examination. I like this guy's shirt. Alright, so we took care of the bunny. What does this guy want? There we go. We'll take care of these things really fast. I think this always is going to need, yeah, sure enough, always going to need to be hooked up to the heart monitor. How stressful! Like, now I'm- oh, hi! She looks cool! Now I feel really, like, kind of stressed out because I am quite aware of the fact that- Oh, hello! Hello! Do you want to- I have no idea what Newton just did. Did he collect- He collected donations! That woman came in and collect- like, dropped off some donations. That's so cool. The guinea pig needs a heart checkup! Out of my way, everyone! Oh my gosh! Oh, this poor little guinea pig! Your heart's not even that big, like, physically. All right, so we're gonna take good care of that little guinea pig. Uh, I hear the mouse, got the mouse. This man is feeling pretty patient, thank goodness. You can actually see the hearts as they go down now, which I do like, because it gives me a little bit of a better idea. Nice, more tips. Good job, Newton. Maybe putting that big, I mean, I wanted to give him the big fancy thing anyway, but clearly it has helped so that now he'll, wait. Oh wait, there we go. Clearly it's helped because now he's like convincing people to come in and play with his little tree toy, toy tree even. There we go. Hello, sir. A few animal donations from you. Nice. Three stars. Totally managing this just fine. Expert level. Because we're experts. We know how to take care of a good little guinea pig. All right, let's give this man his tweezers. And I'm actually really excited, guys. What if Newton's gonna go play with other parrots at the parrot park? Oh, we have to find out. This is gonna be awesome. I really, I was deeply, surprisingly touched by Amy's story last time and really got in, oh, to seeing her grow up. Arthur's big trip is coming up soon, right? Yep, he's leaving tomorrow. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. I'm gonna be all on my own then. Hey, that's not true. You'll have... Newton. Maybe we should make Arthur a going away present? I've been so busy with the clinic, I hadn't thought of anything like that. Man, growing up is hard to do, but this is gonna be so exciting to see her tackle this. Well, what about a photo album with all our best memories? That's a great idea. We've got tons of photos lying around here. Oh, that's so sweet! <laughs> oh, look at these two! We really need to start picking out what photos we're going to put in the album. So, which ones do you think are best? They're so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's Newton's birth! Oh, I've already got tears in my eyes again, because the story just... It tugs at my heart. <laughs> I think they're saving Scrappy, which was a great memory, but I think Newton's birth is really special. Oh, I love this one. Newton was so adorable when he was born. 
He had... The, the truth of the matter is they look like aliens. There are no feathers involved. <laughs> that, that's a misleading picture. And then we can do homecoming where we got to help take care of the bunny that poor little Paige thought was going to die or graduation. Let's do homecoming. This one too. Paige is so adorable. This is so sweet. Wow, I love this. Oh look, there's opening day, there's retirement day. Which one, young or old? Oh man, let's do opening day. Is that you? You were here from opening day? Grandpa was always coming up with little ways I could help. That's really sweet. He's a great mentor. You're so lucky to have him, you know. Too old? No, don't say that, Newton. <laughs> oh my gosh. Check this one out. Oh, what's this a picture of? This is like the parrot park, I think. Oh, that must be, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so this must be Amy in the middle. I don't see Lisa, so they must have become friends later on. Wow, look at Miss Everly. She, oh, that was Miss Everly. She looks so young in this picture. Gosh, this is why I love Game House games. That evolution of the characters, game after game, just gets me so attached to them. Who's the purple girl in the corner? There? Who? Oh, that's... Oh, are we going down memory lane? What? Oh my gosh! What? What a terrible person! Well, I mean, she's a kid, so then usually, like, you have somebody else to blame, but... Amy, are you okay? Sorry, you were saying? The album looks great. We really did a great job. I kind of feel like there's something missing still. A selfie. <laughs> I think Newton's got the right idea. Let's take one last picture for the album. Oh, that's so sweet! All right, guys! When we pick up next time, we will carry on with the story. We are going to wish our grandfather a fond farewell, and we are going to try upgrading the clinic and making sure that we can run it just as well as he would have, even if he is not here and he's off traveling and retired and whatnot. And I'm very excited to see where Amy's adventures are going to take her. She really finally decided to focus on one thing and be responsible and learn to say no last time, which is a really, really hard time like thing to do but it looks like she still has a few little emotional hurdles to go before she can really have smooth sailing into her adult life and i am so excited to join her with that journey and to help many more little guinea pigs so i'll see you guys next time and if you guys want to enjoy us on, uh, like enjoy us join us and enjoy the adventures do please consider subscribing leave a like to toss a treat to that adorable cat that i hope we're going to rescue i'm sure there's many 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 animal rescues hiding in these chapters and let me know what you guys think of Amy's story so far. I really want to get through this one so that we can check out the brand new story that just came out, her third adventure sometime in the future as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!